Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this look here using all NYX Cosmetics products. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So I've already went and did my eyebrows and went round them and I've also did some skincare as well. So the next thing I'm going in with is from NYX Cosmetics and it's the HD Studio Photogenic Foundation and this is in the shade Sand Beige. So the next product I'm going in with is the Sculpt and Highlight Face Jewel and I'm going in with the um, concealer side, it's this side here. And then I'm just taking that sponge again and just blending that in. I'm next going to go ahead and set it in place with the HD Studio Finishing Powder and I'm just going to set all the places I applied that concealer. So I'm taking this palette here it's called the Lid Lingerie Palette and I'm going to take this nice like kind of burnt orange shade and apply that as my transition shade in the crease. Then after that I'm taking the Fire palette from the In Your Element um, eyeshadow range and when you open it up inside it looks like this and I'm going to take this shade here and apply that also in the crease. So I'm next stepping in to that transition shade again and I'm just going back over top and just blending that in. Next stepping in to this palette again and I'm taking this shade here and applying that in the outer corner and also in the crease. So I'm just focusing that shade in the crease and also like in that outer corner. So I'm taking a bit and then just like kind of dabbing it there and then moving it up and in to the crease just to add some depth and definition. And then also taking that transition shade and going back over top. So I think I'm going to add some glitter to this look because I've not used glitter in a long while so next to a really like nice colour that would go with this as well. Then taking the fire palette again and I'm taking this shade here and applying that in the outer corner. So and then after I've applied that to that outer corner I'm taking that crease brush again, dipping in to like one of the crease colours and then just blending that out. And then I'm going to dip in to this shade here and apply that on the lid. So 
So I'm next going on to eyeliner and this is the Epic Ink Liner and it looks like this. So I'm not going to take it as like a winged eyeliner, I'm going to like smoke out the outer corner so I'm just going to kind of like draw a little line facing up the way as if I was going to do a winged liner and I'm going to take like that black shadow and go in and just like totally diffuse that edge. I'm then just taking this shade here again and I'm going to take that and diffuse the outer corner. So I don't think this black is like quite dark enough for this look so I think I might just go and apply another black shadow that I know it definitely is. I mean it could work still, um, if you don't want to go too dark on the eyes you can always like use that colour but I just feel as if like it needs to be just a little bit darker. So I'm going to leave the eyeshadows on top like this just now and I'm going to apply some glitter as well. And this is the Face and Body Glitter in Copper and it's um, number four. And I'm also going to stick that onto the eyelid with the glitter primer. So I went ahead and applied some lashes on top and these ones are from the brand Prima Lash. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the bottom lash line and I'm going to take every colour we used from this palette on the bottom lash line in the same steps and then I'm going to dip in to the fire palette and use the darkest one closest to the lash line. So I'm really liking how these eyes are looking so I'm just going to leave them like this and I'm next going to go ahead and finish off the skin and I'm taking this shade here as a bronzer and putting that on the tops of my cheekbones and just warming up the skin. So now that I've bronzed my face I'm next taking the blusher like kind of side of it and taking this shade here and it's a nice like kind of peachy tone it looks super like baby pink on camera but it's this really nice tone and I have used it before so I'm going to take that shade there and apply that as well And then for highlighter, I'm taking this shade here and applying that to the tops of the cheekbones. And then for the lip liner, I'm using the retractable lip liner in the shade Sand Beige. So to finish this whole look off, I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. So this is the finished look. 
I hope you enjoyed watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're new and also comment below any video suggestions you'd like to see from me in the next coming weeks and I'll definitely get filming them for you. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!